Crafty Ria. Crafty Ria. Hello, it's Crafty Ria, and I am here today to open a mystery box that I purchased on eBay. I was browsing eBay the other day and I saw, I came across this mystery box and it's a mystery box of, it said, huge lot Christmas slash winter um, scrapbook supplies filled box fun craft surprise. And it's in this big priority mailbox, a large flat rate box. And it was originally $85. And I um, sent an offer. She had offers available. And I sent an offer for $75. And she accepted. So after tax and everything, it ended up being $80. I have never spent this much on any type of a mystery box. But I thought it would be fun to open on the channel. And you know I do all kinds of Christmas things. So I thought, why not give it a try. Let's see if it's worth it. You guys help me decide if it is worth it or not. So all I did was take the tape off and I took the um, packing slip out. And here we just have a letter and she says, please check out my Etsy shop for more craft supplies. Um, mystery night. Hope every hope you enjoy your surprise box. And here is her business card that she sent. If you want to look up her information. So there we have that. And everything in here is packed in tightly wrapped in all of this paper. So I'm going to set this box next to me and I'll open one thing at a time. And like I said, it's all wrapped up. I have not taken any of the paper off and I have not looked to see what is in this box. And it's all wrapped very nicely in this paper. So this first thing here is some 12 by 12 paper. It says Merry Christmas. It looks like it makes boxes. Like this would fold up as an envelope actually, maybe not a box. If I could figure out how to see what is in here. I see, it opens this way. And we have these gorgeous jewel tones of 12 by 12 paper. It is um, patterned paper, not patterned, but textured a little bit. And the back sheet is white. And then there is this, is the front. I would imagine this would make, you'd fold it together and it would make an envelope. And then there's some other 12 by 12 paper here. It looks like it's all folded in half like that. Oh, probably for scrapbook pages. I could move it over a little bit so you can see better the full sheets. And this is the back of that. And it's all one-sided paper. This one is upside down. This looks like a sweater, like a weaving of a sweater. And I don't do much scrapbooking, but the, these patterns will come in handy for cards and such. It's one-sided paper. The backs are white, and there is this pattern here. Some are thinner than others. This is like regular weight paper. The first pack I showed was definitely a heavier weight. I like that stripe, purples and blues and stuff. And here we just have some solid colors of paper. I do like that some of it is thinner weight because it's good for card making. It won't weigh weigh down the cards as much. So that is the first part of this package. Then we have the second one. We have here, it says Christmas Kirigami. 
just some instructions. It's on this plastic sheet. Oh, I think it's a, like a template because you can, um, there's grooves where you can trace the um, shapes. Let me know if you have any experience with this. I have never seen anything like that before. And there's more stuff in here. This is the Christmas Wobblers per Percy the Penguin. Um, it creates one rocking wobbler card or adds wobbler fun to any scrapbook page. And it looks like there's some metallic pieces in here. Here are the instructions for that. That looks kind of fun. I could probably make that on a video. Then we have this next one. She has everything wrapped quite nicely in here. Ooh, these are pretty. This is right up my alley. Sparkling Snowflakes 3D Paper Toll Foil Die Cuts. They are beautiful. These would be great for cards. I guess there's instructions. There are three designs on the sheet plus extra accent artwork. Each has dark blue, light blue, or silver numbers next to it. Okay, so they are numbered, and I bet you put them together and make 3D snowflakes. Well, then I probably wouldn't use it on a card. I'll have to read the instructions and pay attention. But then look at all this background paper that would otherwise go to waste. I could punch that out and make snowflakes. So that looks like fun to do. I've never seen anything like that before. And there is this. This is Dazzle's Heartfelt Snowman Stickers. It looks like they are like an outline sticker and you um, can like paper piece underneath. It gives you some instructions on the back. That's kind of fun. And then we have this one here. Let's see what's in it. I'm just going from top to bottom. The box is pretty full. This is Attachments River, Ribbon Set Christmas, and it's just some Christmas ribbon, which, of course, will come in handy. This is the, I haven't seen the brand attachments before. This is new to me. These are vinyl tags, and it looks like there's a little, um, like, keychain. These could be used as... Um, on the front of cards, that's what they look like. That would be kind of fun as a sentiment on the front of cards. Oh, I've seen this before or something similar. I have something similar. This is uh, 20 terrific Christmas tags. And here's what they look like on the back. They'd be great to make gift tags. Um, with or even to fancy up and put on a card and that's all that was in that one this is the next one we have wood signs caution no pouting allowed welcome to the north pole and santa's workshop this is karen foster designs so those are kind of cool. They'd be good on cards. They're not that thick. They're probably less than an eighth of an inch thick, maybe about a sixteenth of an inch. That would add some good dimension. This is Dazzle's Double Stick Christmas Wreath Stickers, and they are clear. So I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Oh, I think I know... I think I know what this is. Um, it is just double-sided tape in the shape of these, and you put, um, like, glitter or something over it. I have some of these. Um, I don't know if it's this brand, but I've used this type of thing. They are so much fun to use. That looks fun. So far, I'm impressed with this box. This is really pretty. 
It is some angel stickers and on a beautiful background, I'm assuming they're stickers, made in Holland. It doesn't say if they're stickers. Yes, they are stickers. Excellent. They do peel up. And that is gorgeous. And then, of course, there's a little bit of background um, that you could use a strip of it or something like that on your project. You know, I love to use every last bit of something. Here are some more stickers. These are more of those dazzles. These are penguin stickers. It doesn't say they're double sided, but they are black and white. And I would imagine you stick them on white paper and then this is the black part of it. Very cool. The igloo and the penguins. Just a piece of paper separating the layers. I feel something hard like a big box. But let's do this one next. We have some little bingo cards, Mary. We have Jolly, Peace, Mary, um, Give, Noel, and Joy. Those are cute just to stick on the front of a card. We have this. These are Brad's. There are, let's see if I can open it. Very cool. I'm going to make a mess of this, aren't I? Here we go. We have big, oh, these are like 3D brads. These are the bottom portion, and I think this goes through that hole. There you go. And then you open the back, and you can layer possibly even more. You could do something like this if you wanted to make a double layer. So that's really cool. Those are fun. I love snowflake embellishments for cards. I'll see if I can get it all back in here. And there's another one. Oh, these are 25 silk point settas. They all have a little hole in the center so you could stick a brad through them as well. That's really pretty for embellishments, and you can layer them any way you like. There's an example there. All right, here's what I was feeling that felt like a box. This is really heavy. I should save it to last. Ooh. These are knockouts by American Crafts. Let's see if I can open it and figure out what it is. Let's see on the back. Oh, so you can make a border punch with each one of these designs. So you have this piece and then these go in here and it makes a border punch and you can line it up on the sides. That's pretty cool. I have some other ones that are similar to these. I wonder if they would fit in. Oh, and there are, I think pieces in here. Yeah, there are pieces in here that you put here so you can line your image up. That's a really neat set. And it makes all of these borders. Now I know why it was so heavy. Here is the next little doodad. Here we have just some little pieces of embellishments that would go on a card perfect little sizes to um, add to a card. Here we have, it looks like just some buttons and it feels pokey, so I think there's some brads in there. I have those brads. So that's kind of cool. There's That's quite a lot in there. It's a pretty big package. 
Here we have just some scraps of different ribbon, cherished memories, merry and bright, and some really big rickrack. You guys know I've been using rickrack a lot lately. And here we have um, from Color Book Sue Dreamer. I really like her um, style. I have a lot of stuff like that. Just these little buttons that say like Santa, believe, cheers, different cute little sayings on them. Good for embellishments on a card. So here we have another piece. This is 8x8 eight eight Christmas uh, paper pizzazz. Let's see what paper we have in here. Get rid of that. So it gives you, I think, some ideas what you can make with the stuff. And there's some borders here. And they're single-sided papers. But they are also a good size for card making. They will work. They are thin. They're not thick like cardstock, which is great for card layering, so it doesn't add too much weight to your card. Here are some simple little tags you can cut apart. More little cut aparts and borders. Some more tags and cut aparts. This reminds me of wallpaper. And these, some of these are good background papers for any time of the year. We have some snow. I like that blue, it's very pretty. I'll show you the full piece here with the bottom border. I like how each section coordinates. This one is really pretty, the snowflakes or the stars. And of course, this is more like we're getting into purple here, which, you know, I like that. And those are some pretty tags and cut aparts. And then we have the alphabet here. More alphabet. We have some green and red. More tags, cut aparts. These would be good for, um, to, they're a good size for cards. This looks like a gift almost. more what I would call wallpaper. We have some more tags and cut aparts. Some color blocking sheets. I like that one. That one might be my favorite piece in here. And then just some um, uh, ideas for scrapbook pages if you wanted to make a scrapbook with it. And that's the back. Nice little paper pack, not bad. And then here we do have a scrapbook kit. It is 12 papers, 42 stickers, 13 frames, 10 top loading sheet protectors. I think this is probably eight by eight, I would guess. Has a window on the front that you could put your own picture in. It just slides in back here. We have some stickers. Now a lot of this can be used for cards. We have some more stickers. These are 3D stickers. More sticker sheets. And then we have the papers. The penguins down at the bottom. That's a pretty paper. This would be great for a beginner scrapbooker. These would be fun to cut apart, fussy cut. And then that's a just a pretty blue. 
a light blue, a green, and another green, and then all of the page protectors back there. This is by um, Markings. When Memory Matters, C.R. Carlson, it looks like. And that's the back. It's a pretty book. That might be the end of the box. Yep, that is the bottom of the box. I'm looking forward to using some of these items that I've never seen before, especially this is beautiful. I can't wait to do that one. The penguin looks like he will be really fun to make. The poinsettias and these snowflakes look like they'll be fun to use as well. And a lot of these little doodads would be great for card making. I hope you did enjoy this mystery unboxing. I love a good um, mystery box. It's not really a bad deal. I had a lot of fun opening it, and I hope you had as much fun as I did watching. I will show you her card again in case you are interested in checking her out on Etsy. I will go check out her Etsy shop. I will also send her a message with the link for this um, video in case she wants to see it. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do click on that subscription button down in the corner. And um, while you're there, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, I'd be interested to see if what you think of the box for the value. Also, would you like me to do more of these mystery box unboxings? Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And until the next video, you know what to do. Go get crafting. Bye-bye.